Okay. Oh no. Oh God. God, he makes it sound so easy. Okay, calm down. I think I found my new calling. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today, we, me, you and I are going to be following a Bob Ross tutorial, but with a twist. I'm gonna be following Mr. Bob here using only sound. Ready or not, let's get started. All right, I got everything set up. I have my laptop over there facing the other direction so I cannot see it. And I have a wireless keyboard just in case I need to pause the video. So I researched a Bob Ross starter kit and you know, there weren't selling any anywhere near me. So I just improvised and bought what was off the starter kit, which is, so we got a lot of paint, brushes, Mona Lisa, odorless paint thinner. Okay, now that we got our canvas primed, it's time to get started. Let's do something easy. Start with the old two inch brush and let's go right into a little touch of the phthalo blue. A phthalo blue, which one's that again? Hold on, Bob, slow down, Bob. He said X motion, so I'm just gonna, just gonna, oh. There we go. X, X motions. Mixing with the liquid white that's on the canvas, and so it, it gets lighter in value automatically. Now maybe I want to darken the edges a little, so I'm going to add just a touch of the Prussian blue. Prussian blue is much stronger than the phthalo blue, so just a little bit. Don't want much. The light area will lead your eye right into it. And a little touch maybe on the other side. What the heck, we don't want him left out. There. And just very gently go right across. That just takes out the brush strokes and brings everything together. We'll take a little more of the, like we did on the sky. Let's go up in here. Maybe there's a little water in here. You know me, shoot. All right, so water. I'm just gonna, I guess I'm just gonna use my imagination and use some white. So a little white in here. Okay, and we'll start, I guess, over here. It's always level, always level. So try to keep your strokes as straight as possible. There, a little more of the blue over on the other side and pull from the outside in. That way this is a nice feathered edge here. You don't have a distinct line that you have to try to work out. There we go. Now then, fun time. <laughs> Let me wash the old brush. If you painted with me before, you know this is the highlight of the whole painting. There we go. Just shake it off <laughs> and just cover it. It's gonna wash off, wash off our brush. Oh no! There's paint everywhere. You should see our camera crew. Now then, I just want to brighten this a little. So I'm going to take the least little, least little touch of cad yellow and just put it right in here. Just a little yellow highlight. Wait, what the f did he just do? Oh, well, whatever. I'm just going to guess. We have no time to waste. So I'm going to guess, uh, all right, let's keep listening. It'll just make us a nice greenish color and we don't mind it in the water. Okay. And that easy. We All had right. sky and water. See, I told we'll you this was going to be a very simple little painting. Fun fact, in high school, I painted a silhouette, which was just trees and a mountain. And my art teacher tried so hard not to roast me because of how bad it was. She was like, uh, yeah, look, looks good. She gave me a C for trying. So who knows how this might turn out. But you know, content's content. Now then. Let's build this a little cloud. Everybody likes to have clouds in the painting. So I'll show you a very simple way. We'll use the old one inch brush and just pull it through some color. Titanium white. Just pull it through. Let's go up in here. Maybe, maybe our cloud lives right here. Little tiny circles, little tiny circles. There you go. And just let that brush dance and play. All right, next we're doing some clouds. I don't know how much paint he's using. He said little tiny circles, so... I need more than that. Oh! 
Yeah, that's way too much. Don't just throw it up there and, and think that a cloud will appear. You have to have a basic shape to work with. Something about like that. What the heck? We don't care. Clouds are very free. Very, very free. Now with a good, clean, dry, two-inch brush, gently, 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 just using the top corner of the brush, blend the base of the cloud. Oh, God. All right, we're going to do another cloud here. Grab the base. Oh, God. Very gently. I'm just beating the brush to knock off the excess paint. Then we'll fluff it a little, like so, and very gently. One hair and some air. <laughs> Whisper light. Oh, no. Just go right over it. Tell you what, shoot. That was so much fun, let's get crazy. Maybe in our world, there's several little clouds. <sighs> this is fine. I'm fine. So there's my clouds. Maybe I'll do one more. I'm, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just making stuff up at this point. All right, what's next, Mr. Bob? Much fun with clouds. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put another one right here. Bob's got a lot of clouds. Just looks like a bunch of white spots. All right, that, that'll, that'll have to do. I'll tell you what let's do. Let's build us a little mountain. We'll take some black. Oh God, he's using Van a Dyke tool Brown. that's not a paintbrush. At least a little. All right, it seems like he's using some kind of spatula, so I guess I'll just use this. All right, mountain. You decide. If you don't live someplace there's mountains and you want to paint a mountain, make one up. Just make it up. God, he makes it sound so easy. It's almost like he's a professional at this or something. Oh, we take some titanium white. At least a little touch of dark sienna. Maybe just a touch more than that. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Little roll of paint once again. Put a very small roll of paint. Now then. It's getting dark. So it sounded like he got some white. Actually, I'm just gonna clean the I'm gonna clean this tool off. Alright, some white and dark sienna. Okay, maybe not the color that I was going for, but now then, go up in here and just barely touch. Barely touch. And just let it sort of float down the mountain. See there? Okay, see how easy that is? Now, if you do it fast, it works better than just barely doing it for some reason. All right, slow down, slow down, Bob. Work with me here, Bob, as he's speaking slowly. Okay, calm down. Everybody calm down. But mix these colors on the brush so you have a multitude of things happening on the brush. A little Indian yellow here and there. And now then, I want to make little grassy areas that flow right up the hill. So all we do is touch and tap. They'll make your painting special. Very special. Watch here. All right, so I said grass on the mountain, so I'm just gonna do a little, little some of this. Make it a little lighter. Oh, perfect. Oh, God. All right, looks good. What's next? Use number three fan brush, and I'm gonna put some of that dark color on there. Oh, no, I don't have a fan brush. All right, evergreens. This is fun. This is actually really fun. He makes it so fun to paint. You know what? I think I found my new calling. At first, I was really freaking out because in my head, I was like, oh my God, this is such a bad idea. What am I doing? What if it's not good? What if it's not good enough? Uh... But now it's almost like therapeutic and I just messed it up so bad. From now on, Bob Ross is my art teacher. Oh my God, Leanne, who taught you how to paint? I studied under the one and only Bob Ross. I was actually given uh, private lessons by him, but you know, he was actually uh, never in the room. Uh, his spirit just spoke to me. So I guess you could, <laughs> so I guess you could say uh, I'm blessed. And here we have the finished product. Uh, this is not a Bob Ross painting. This is a one-of-a-kind painting by uh, Barbara Ross selling at a low cost of... How much does a Bob Ross painting cost? 9000 Selling at a low cost of $9,001. Place your bids now before it's too late. All right, that's it for today's video. Once again, here's the finished product and... This painting looked a little different.